All right, this is the last of our like nonsense, just new product boxes that aren't super exciting before we get into some more of the fun stuff that I got from Christmas and just other stuff in general. So uh, I, I don't think there's nothing to talk about, at the, about these because I do think they're pretty cool um, just for deck building specifically. And uh, also I didn't realize that these two both have the special Cosmos foil on the hollow. So more hollows to add to that hollow collection. But we got both of them today because they're both kind of similar. I feel like we could talk about both the cards that are useful in each of these in one shot. So without further ado, uh, I guess we'll break these open and we'll, uh, we'll talk more about it. So give me one second and we'll just quick, I don't know, maybe we'll just... What do you want me to do? I don't know. You want me to do you want me to snap or something? What'd you expect? A clean transition? No. Uh, so I forgot to show off the boxes in general, but I think they're kind of simple. They've been sticking to this. Well, first off, I'm mad because like I thought these four pack things were gonna stay the size of the Annihilate box, but uh, nope, they're not. Now we're getting full size ones again, which is really annoying. I think you could have just made them more compact. Whatever. But we're sticking to this EX kind of symboling on the side, which looks like the EX on the card. And then uh, we get, like, the box kind of infused with, like, the Gallade Future thing there. And it's kind of got that, like, pink, uh, like, goop running through it, just like he is. And then we got the green and the silver, which is cool. Like, at least they kept the boxes to looking like what they are, which is neat. Uh, and then the Roaring Moon. Yeah, actually, similar thing. Look at that. We kind of got his uh, blue jagged wing pattern and the colors. So, like, not bad box design for these, like, more simple boxes. They're pretty cool if you want to keep them stored. But uh, I wish they were small because that would make storing them a lot easier. And you could still stick with that fun branding. Uh, also, the, I hate the Roaring Moon box already because it uh, cut my finger when I tried to slice down the side to open it. So that's fun. I'm bleeding a little bit. So hopefully there's no blood on these cards, but uh, we'll check out the stuff first. Obviously, you get your two code cards. Each one of these just gives you um, the promos from each box online. Wow, pack maintenance with this thing is a little tough. We're going to keep trying, all right? So without further ado, let's go through the Valiant side first, shall we? So we get an Iron Moth uh with you know obviously the fun pattern this is the only way to get this card with the cosmos foil is out of this box oh dang oh it's so good in the middle cosmos foil should just stay the hollow pattern for like normal sets but then i guess what would you make the promos i don't know but uh his ability is once in your turn this pokemon moves from your bench to the active spot you can move fire energy would be great if his only attack wasn't 120 <laughs> um and you can't use it next turn so, uh, I mean, I guess good for a backup attacker if you have like a fully fired deck, you could totally do that. Ooh, this is gonna make sleeving extra, extra difficult, but we're gonna we're gonna bear with it. So there's our Iron Moth, and then the other two things you get in here, each of them you get the set's respective booster energy, which this is actually a good card, both of them from both sets, depending if you're using a future or ancient deck. This almost kind of feels like, this sets the battle styles of this era, isn't it? I didn't put that together. This is Battle Styles. They did the same thing. This is set, wait, set number one, two, three, four. Okay, they did a set earlier. They did a set earlier than than, than Sword and Shield did. Holy shit, this is, ex it, it, okay, well, great. Great job, guys. We've just kind of recycled the content. Except the alt arts have been flowing through every set, so there's really nothing else new and interesting other than that. But uh, with future stuff, you get that kind of future pattern there. I forgot that he has it, too. And you get the foil on it, too, and not on the other side. I never really noticed that. But the future booster capsule... Um, the card this Pokemon is attached to uh, has no retreat, and the attacks it uses do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Pretty freaking cool. Um, I mean, this could work great with hands. Um, not so much with the Valiant, but it does work for switching it, which is the whole point of the Iron Valiant card. Let me sleeve this painfully one more time. Boom, put him up over there, and then we have your Iron Valiant. And this is a promo, so this is a art specific to this box the one out of the set must be a little bit different though i can't pinpoint it i need to look at it again but i think we've talked about it before laser blade no one's really using as an attack because accelerating that kind of energy isn't fantastic i guess you could play this in gardevoir if you wanted a backup attacker but how do you make gardevoir work with those uh future boosters and everything it's just too much work but the whole thing with tachyon bits is just keep switching them into the active dealing 20 more damage wherever you want uncontested very cool especially in a format where we have a lot of EXs that are third stage evolutions like charizard so you just knock out charmanders for free right off the bat or pidgeys or whatever you need so very cool on that side and then obviously you get the jumbo of this guy i saw somebody recently who took like photo frames and made a giant wall of just all their jumbo cards I kind of, <laughs> I'd love to do that in here. Uh, I'm really, it's really making me think about it, but I'm like, is that too much? Like, it looked really cool in concept. I'm like, but I do, I want that in my house. But if I do it, I'll let you know. Maybe I'll put it in the closet. Like, I'll hang it in like the closet wall. That way nobody directly sees it unless they know to go over there. Um, we're going to move these to the side just for the sake of space. And then on your other side, before we get to the packs, we have Brute Bonnet. Wow, 
Oh, that's cool. I like the like almost sand. It's like the layers of the earth. It feels like an excavation kind of thing. Ancient makes sense. You're digging for fossils. So brute bonnet is fantastic. If you attach the other guy down there, the ancient booster capsule to it, you could just poison both. Um, wait, is it both active Pokemon? Yeah, both active Pokemon poisoned. And then during your next turn, rampaging. You're never using rampaging hammer. Really, he's just good for the uh, assuming electro cloth deck, where if you are under special condition you deal more damage and also your opponent's on special condition because of him which is kind of cool and you could buff that using Hasuian Sneasler and stuff like that the deck's super fun and uh this would be a fun way to bling it out so if you need brute bonnets for your deck for that this is an easy way to do it and get some packs and get some other usable stuff with it because um I know these guys still go for a pretty penny at least probably Roaring Moon a little bit more so I've been seeing him still getting more play oh we got a swirl on the capsule and then the ancient booster energy um, recover all special conditions. Who really cares about that? Though I've seen that happen a, a few times where you like kind of forget that's what it does. I've had that happen, I think, with like Fusion Strike Energy. I think it also has that secondary effect. We tried to like poison Mew, and I'm like, oh, right, I can't do that. Um, but uh, yeah, getting the 60 HP is the huge thing, and that pairs really well with the Roaring Moon. So I, I have to say, weird that they put the Moth in there because he doesn't work super well with that. But this one, like all three of these cards, actually, no, I guess I guess that's fair because Root Bonnet doesn't really go well with this deck, but like it pairs with it. I guess the Moth pairs with the Future Energy, whatever. Let's put that over there. And then Roaring Moony X, who still sees a fair amount of play. I personally think the Valiant should be seeing more just because it's more annoying. But he's got his Frenzy Gouging, knock out the opponent, deal 200 to yourself. It's nice if you have a little bit extra HP so people can't donk you for a quick 30. Now they have to hit you for another 90 to knock you out. Or Calamity Storm for 120 if there's a Stadium in play. I don't think you could... Oh, you could discard the Stadium too, which is cool. So you could potentially bump something if you don't want it. Um, this is definitely a different pose than the normal one I see. I think I like this one a little bit better. Actually, looks pretty sweet. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm not into a lot of the EXs. I feel like they've been doing better with the basic EXs than from, like, base set. They're blending this better. I'll give them that. That was the one thing that was bothering me a lot, and they're doing that far more superior than how they used to. So, all pretty good cards, like, competitively out of both of these. So, I, I, I think that's really why both these boxes have a right to exist. And why there's something worth talking about with both of them. And then what packs do you get? You get two Paradox Rift, one Paldea Evolved, and one Obsidian Flame. So I'm going to do that. And maybe we just mesh the boxes all together. Who really cares what came from what side, even though I am biased with the one because it didn't cut me. Either way, let's do this, then these two, then... Yeah, 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 there we go. Okay. We're already a lot of minutes into this. Oh, well. Okay, well, let's see if I can even open packs because this might actually get messy. How do I open them, actually? This is like one of those weird things where you don't think about it most of the time. But now that I'm forced to, <laughs> this is going to get a little weird. So I got Blanco, Delibird, Mankey, Tinkatink, Corviknight. I didn't even realize he got a card in this set. I wonder what he does. I need to read more of these, but I don't want to waste everybody's time. I think he's good. Base Pokemon V, Mirrors an opponent of no abilities. I guess that did come in Paldea Evolved. That makes sense. I was like, that was actually a while ago. And then we get a normal Wigglytuff. Just gonna put that stuff off to the side because who really cares? We'll probably make our like actual hit pile on top of the other guys. Let's do one more of these. Wow, yeah, Paldea evolved us a while ago. I was like, why are we still considering these a, a, a threat? Really, they're on the way out, but that makes sense because I assume any new sets we get now are not gonna have really anything that's considering these. Very good. Jet energy brings in the active. Also pairs really well with Valiant, so you can get them into the active for basically one energy attachment. And, okay, Boss's Order is not the worst card if we were going to get anything from that. And uh, these can kind of go off to the side. There we go. And then you're just... Actually, I'll probably put the Boss's Orders in my uh, competitive cards folder, because why not? People like Getsus. People like Getsus a lot. Oh, so I guess, was his Fuller in Paldea? Man, I'm really bad at these new sets. <laughs> I really should learn this stuff a bit more. Heat more. The Umbreon that I think was also a GameStop promo that's worth a lot. We got Carvana. Man, we're getting skunked, aren't we, huh? Yeah, yeah, this is going to be one of those days. I feel like neither of these have anything. I'm not feeling good. Adverse weather. As long as Pokemon's in the active spot, prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by attacks of your... <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, sure, Thunderous. Yeah, you'll definitely see your moment in the sun one day, buddy. I'm actually opening these pretty okay. I thought this was going to make this uh, a lot more of a tragic event. All right, one more Obsidian. Can we... I, I don't really even know what I want out of this set. I forget what other, like, fun art rares there are in this one. This is really bad of me today. Let's see if we could at least see one. That way I can remember what's in this set. I guess not. That's fair. I didn't remember anything about you, so you might as well give me nothing. And then the set that I really like, Paradox Rift. Can we get the Iron Hands busting through the wall? That's really what I want out of this set. Uh, super badly. I think my one buddy pulled the Iron Valiant special art rare, which is really cool looking. I saw that in person for the first time, but now I kind of want that. Flittle, Zebstrike all lit up and energized. Cool. 
Amba Palm, Vanillish, man, man, we're getting nothing. What does Lifeboat do? Oh, that's one of these like mouthful ones. Put the Pokemon over your hand. If I want your Pokemon, you use this ability. Each player puts a base Pokemon from their discard pile into their bench. Not good, Melodic. Not not useful. <laughs> that doesn't sound helpful at all. Oh, man. Watch both of these have nothing. And I forgot. The reason I... <laughs> Ooh, I was kind of hoping we get something out of this is I tried to... Uh, Target had a thing around Christmas time where I was like, oh, spend like X amount of money for like their Target Circle bonuses. Which maybe I talked about on here. Just to, to remove ad nauseum. Basically, God, this sucks. <laughs> You're getting absolutely bodied. Um, long story short, I thought the Pokemon card product counted toward your $90 that you needed to spend for the day. So I got like some groceries and I used these to accommodate the other like 40 bucks that I needed. Um, and then they rang it up and they were like, it didn't work. So I took it to customer service and they're like, oh yeah, you can't, <laughs> you can't count Pokemon product because it's from a vendor. And I was like, oh, well, no one told me that. So I guess you got to read all the exclusions really deeply. Wow, this is awful. Can we get like one? We need to get like a special art. Otherwise this is, this is trash. How dare you, Target? They really did me dirty. This sucks. Oh, Recap is going to have to really just rely on the product in it, which is going to be worth a bit, but man, I thought we'd at least have something to put on top of it. Oh my god, no, we get nothing. We get nothing out of eight. Oh, that's so disappointing. Great job. Where's the good, where's the increased pull rate odds out of this set? Where was that? Okay. You know, maybe off screen, I'll pull out some of the competitive <laughs> trainer cards just to try to add to it a little bit more. Man, all right. Well, I'll see you guys next time in a more random, exciting, uh, different video than just mainline product coming out. See you guys. Peace.